Hi, I'm Sean Smith from South Coast Yachts. Today we're on a brand new Antares 8. This is the cruising version in stock in San Diego. Join me for a walkthrough and tour of the boat. This is the new Antares 8 cruising from Beneteau. We have this one in stock in San Diego. It's got the blue hull, which looks really great on this boat. It's got the black uh, rack on the top, so you can put battle boards or kayaks, toys up top. Up at the bow, there is an electric uh, windlass and a nice a nice open area if you wanted to put a, a sun pad up there to lay out you can definitely do that up on the bow moving back to the transom in the cockpit there are extended swim platforms on both sides around the mercury 225 horsepower v6 white motor on the boat looks really good I like that combination with the blue hull really nice feature here in the cockpit is this door on the starboard side so entry becomes really really easy in and out of the boat if also if you're fishing this could be a good place to pull a fish into the boat as you do have cup holder that is also a fishing rod holder you can do fishing rods uh, the Beneteau does make this boat in a fishing version so same haul uh, with more fishing equipment but there are fishing rod holders back here as well. And also a path to walk into the boat from the transom. So stepping through, you can walk through here into the cockpit or of course through that door. A little storage with a drain there. The shower back here, so you have a freshwater shower. So if you swim off the boat, this is a good place to reboard as there is a swim ladder underneath the starboard side. And while we're down here, there's also trim tabs, if you can see that, and a stern-mounted transducer for uh, like a, a depth sounder. Take a look around the boat. Non-skid up at the bow. Big window windshield here with windshield wipers. VHF antenna and nav lights. This boat we ordered with the Sunbrella Bimini. So you have a great cockpit shade here. And for an eight meter boat, this boat's about 25 feet. It's really, really spacious. The aft step here slides forward and aft. So that's what allows you to create all the space in the cockpit with the outboard engine. When you lift the outboard up when, to rinse it out, you're gonna just slide this bench forward, uh, which you can see these Harkin tracks here uh, allow you to do that. Pretty cool feature here access into the batteries this one has a couple of lithium house batteries and also has air conditioning inside the boat flipping up this seat there is a cooler here in the cockpit pretty awesome and this is a flip up seat here so you can have that as like a bolster or I like having it all uh, seating there's also a feature ordered in the boat for a, a full sun pad back here so really great place to hang out and you fit so many people on this size boat moving inside we have sliding doors it's really nice easy sliding doors port side you have the table which flips open and a small galley on the opposite side single sink single burner air conditioning vent there and the thermostat is over here on this side it's pretty cool on this boat you have the little shiver panel the uh, air conditioning and then also an inverter on this boat there's a lot of versatility inside this boat here so as you can see on the port side we have a forward facing seat one or two people can sit there with the captain on the starboard side here, all forward facing while you're underway. At the helm station, there's a large Garmin chart plotter here, which also you can plug in for, uh, you can see their instrumentation, but we have charts in here, it works like a big iPad essentially. The Mercury engine display outboard, bow thruster on this boat, trim tab controls, and then for the DC powered stuff, our navigation electronics, lighting for underway or anchor, the water pump in the boat, bilge, 
windshield wipers, anchor up and down, horn, and then your propane shutoff valve for the galley behind me. Down below, you got your key and then fusion stereo control, throttle here, and then a nice big window here. So you have good ventilation and also good visibility for pulling into the dock. Down below this home seat, is a refrigerator with a little freezer on top. And then back to this table and the versatility here, this little um, hinge adjusts the backrest here. So I can flip this seat and then sit people around this table. So you have a full dining table when you get to Catalina Island or when you're anchored in La Playa, but you can also have a nice, when you're underway, uh, more seats forward facing. There also is an option to drop this table down and turn this into an additional berth, which you can sleep one or two people here. And then forward inside, you can sleep two people across this bed. One or two fit comfortably here. And then there's another berth, which goes underneath here. And you can see there's a couple pads. These are the pads for the cockpit to make, to fill in that area and make a nice big, um, lounge area back there but you can see there's a mattress underneath so someone can sleep in here and this is pretty cool we'll flip the seat back a couple pieces this door here which is a footrest when you have the seat forward you can also you can remove this entirely What that's going to do is give you more access in here and space uh, for, you know, if someone is going to sleep in there with their feet and they have access to some ventilation, some airflow, make that a little more comfortable. So super versatile. Underneath the helm station is the head. So you have an electric Jabsco toilet. You also have a shower. So you can see here the water and waste and then this is going to be the shower inside there is a shower sump pump so if you're using this as a shower then there's a pump there to drain the water out super fun simple boat to run operate and do some cruising on really like the combination of the mercury and cruising uh, we also have a fishing version, which I'll do a video on later. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the new Antares 8 cruising version here available in San Diego. Reach out right away to get on board yourself. I look forward to talking to you soon.